Hey everybody, welcome to Mattman, your source for all things professional wrestling. I'm Andrew Zan, I'm joined by one half of the greatest tag team alive that we can never mention the name, Rich Stambolian. Oh yeah, what's up? We're calling you out, baby. <laughs> Every single one of you. We were cutting promos on Monday night. Cutting we, promos. Rich and I lost our minds. It was the best. <laughs> we had a great best. time. I um, We were talking before on the pre-show. I got hungover twice this week. I know, crazy. You know, and Rarity. You know, rarity. Rarity. rarity tuesday morning i i did not feel great okay tuesday i went back to sleep so hard uh, you were so happy I'm so happy. okay <laughs> we had all intention of coming back with me on the bell but yeah man you know i haven't had a night like that in a very long time midweek uh <laughs> shh, don't tell them uh and we just had a great time i mean we mm. were all hanging out the wives were there we we drank ton we oh, yeah, ate nice. you know it was it was a blast busted into that crown royale <laughs> yo and then at one point at like 10 o'clock at night we're like yo you want to open that crown royal and beautiful. neither neither vicky or jess really wanted us to open it but we did it was awesome it was awesome uh we had a great time and then wednesday you called me we did call we mg face that we usually when we're a little uh, little inside baseball here usually when we're drinking uh and hanging out we will incessantly try to facetime with mg geek well we and we, and we also him. we also <laughs> have the entire we also have the entire house like if there's like a party happening like tomorrow we have we have a event at my house very cool the godfather's it's event like so, it's exotic at my house yeah <laughs> oh. we're, we're doing the godfather's event and <clears throat> i'll show up in my mesh shirt we, you know, we uh, we call MG and we just harass him when everybody gives him the finger and tells him to go f himself. That's pretty much what we do. This guy's, this poor guy's life could be on fire. He could be sitting in a blazing inferno, and we wouldn't know because we can't. We can never hear what he says. And it's <laughs> seven people yelling at this poor guy at the same time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so Wednesday, I went out Wednesday night, and we, it was International Tequila Day, so I had to get you know I was drinking tequila. Nice. And I got home, and to my surprise, Jess was like, she was like up. It was like 11 o'clock I got home. Okay. And she's like, yo, you want to have a glass of wine? Yeah, I do. A, a bottle and a half later, mm -hmm. I, I woke up Thursday dying. I recovered. I recovered. Mm -hmm. And then last night I went out. Nice. I went to El Pistino. Very nice. Beautiful place. Very nice. I'm 49th. Amazing Italian food. What is your favorite tequila? Um, you know, I, I, it depends. Like, I like a Don Julio Blanco if I'm doing nothing. Very if nice. I'm like very, very like, yeah. like standard. Uh, Casamigos standard. Mm -hmm. Terramana, very much like Terramana. Terramana's not bad. And people want to hate on it. I like the ter I like Terramana, but I like Casa Azul, mm -hmm. and I like Don. I, not 1942. It's overrated, but I, I'll go with Casa Azul over that. Okay. Because I like the bottle. It's a beautiful bottle. You know, I'm not a much of a tequila guy. I wasn't until the pandemic. And then you were Because I started like doing tequila sodas. Mas tequila like Sammy Hagar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Love tequila. Uh, Casa Azul is pretty solid. Uh, I actually... I have a bottle somebody gave me. It's in my office. Guys, this show's all about professional wrestling. Well, professional wrestling adjacent. Sure. This is a fun, mm -hmm. loose show. A lot of chat participation. We talk to you guys in the chat room. You guys super chat us. You guys give us your... Your, your nickels and your dimes, whatever you guys could give us, and it helps uh, keep uh, MG Geek uh, off the streets. Yeah. Yeah. His pimp has been harassing him, <laughs> and he's not showing up to work, and it's a big, big problem. Okay? Guys, I don't big, know big what problem. to do. <laughs> MG, what's the name of your pimp? Lockjaw. His name's Lockjaw. Bubba. <laughs> Bubba. Bubba. No, no, no. What what's which which guy is the white dude? The white pimp. <laughs> you know what I'm who I'm talking about? From from Pimps Up Hose Down? Yes. The white guy. The Jeffrey Ross. One. No, yeah, I know what you're yeah, talking yeah, about. Yeah, okay, the white yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. That's the one. <laughs> we should dress you up like that. Uh the show's all about professional wrestling and everything else going on. Rich, let's go into the news. All right, let's do it. So Here's the late. Everybody's been asking us about this. You know, we've been posting for the last couple of weeks that we're on vacation and nobody gives a shit about us. What they want to know is about Warner Brothers Discovery. Latest on the WVD media rights deal with AEW, a timeline. Yeah. First, Tony Khan said a couple of weeks ago that they were in the red zone. Yeah. This week, 
Tony Khan is on his way to France, yeah. uh-oh, to meet with David <laughs> Zaslav. It's happening, dude. I think it's happening. Dude, we manifested this. I think it's happening. Oh, my God. Mm. You know, <laughs> we've been doing this bit for like a year now, French <laughs> Tony Khan. Oh, yeah. It's a bit? It, it, well, no, he calls in, but he does his French. I wonder if he's going to do the accent over there. I would, if I, get, if I see a picture of this guy yeah. with a beret holding a baguette, with a long cigarette dangling out of his mouth, I'd freak the F out. I would jump through your studio window. <laughs> I'd jump through that door right there. <laughs> Dude, I... So, I... We spoke about this all... I, did I ever mention this on the air, MG? The France thing, or no? No. I never uh, spoke about we it didn't, here. We, we talked about it on the uh, radio show. But on the radio show. So, I was told a couple of weeks ago that it was very important for Tony to go to France for this. Yeah. Um, David Zaslav had asked or requested. I don't know as far as the conversation, but this is how it was piecing me. David Zaslav wanted him there. He really wants a deal done. Like now, he wants it done. Very possible they'll agree to terms in France, in Paris. France is no longer France, though. In what way? France is no longer France. I don't know what you mean by that. Streets smell like urine. I'm just saying. Paris, the whole thing smells like urine. When was the last time you went to France? Uh, I was just there. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Tony flew me out. That's right. Yeah. yeah. He just wants me to sign Which for him. Tony flew you out? Oh, Tony Leader. Okay. <laughs> it could be t- Tony Leader. He just sends me to France. No, a lot of Tonys. A lot of Tonys up in this business. Um, he want, they want the deal done. They want it finalized. Um, also, it's very important because if you have this deal in place, everybody in sports business is there. Yeah. Like, it's not... Dave Zaslav is not going to the Olympics because he's a big fan of curling. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Opening ceremony he's, tonight. The opening ceremony is tonight. Um... He is there to cut deals because everybody in the world of sports media is going to be there. Yep. Very infor- important for Tony to be there, including the fact that, you know, he's a franchise owner for the NFL mm-hmm. and he is running one of the top cable programs in the country. Exactly. So very important for him to be there. Weird developments here. Uh, Turner matched Amazon's offer, which they had first rights to do. For the NBA. And for the NBA. And the NBA rejected WBD's offer. And this is now going to go into litigation. And they'll probably get a couple bucks from this because they do have the rights to it. NBA is still there for another year. It's not the NBA deal goes through, I think, till the end of next season. Yeah, they have one more season left. Very interesting terms. I I don't think this is a financially going to affect AEW in the deal. Right. Uh, the deal is going to happen. Yesterday, Tony did an interview where he kind of backtracked a little bit on this. And he said, well, the deal isn't done, uh, but the talks are going very positively, which is true. Yeah. But I, I do think that many of the many things have been agreed upon. And mm. we could tell already, uh, it, you know, WBD having AEW on that French or international version of Max, oh, that yeah. was no mistake. That was not just for testing. That is very strategic. Mm-hmm. considering everybody is there this week. Right, right. So if you want to show and shop this and you want to give an example of, you know, look at what we could do, here you go. Absolutely. It's happening. Pay-per-view is still a big question. I don't have an answer for that. And I don't have an answer for Ring of Honor. I've mm-hmm. never heard one conversation about Ring of Honor. Still to this day. Yeah. Um, And that's not saying that it's not going to happen or Ring of Honor won't end up on Max. I just don't know anything about it. Okay. Uh, the people I speak to, they have not said a word to me. Um, I do believe, based on conversations, that I think the next week and a half is going to be very important about this deal. Yes. And a lot of progress should be made. A thousand percent. In, in the next week or two. Again, I don't know what the hang-up is. I don't know if there is a hang-up. Maybe it's just a financial thing at this point, but we're seeing all the pieces fall into place. The ratings are are growing. Yeah. I mean, it has been very aggressive TV the last couple of weeks leading it into all in, but the TV has been growing. Attendance has been growing. Mm-hmm. You know, these are not 2,000 people dynamites. Right. They're going in the fours. I think they had 5,000 last week. I think they'll be close to that this week, whatever that number was. Um, it's positive. This is all positive. But until that deal is done, nobody knows. Right. You know, and also this is not a cut and dry thing. You know, this is this has been going on for quite some time. So yeah. you never know. It might well, just... there were a lot of stalls in this yeah. because of 
other issues. You know, NBA was a big thing. There mm -hmm. were mergers that happened. Key people have left the company. Other people are in a position to have to be acclimated to what the deal is here. Um, you know, the corporate structure is weird. I live in the corporate world and I see these things happen all the time. It's part of the deal. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, I, it, it is interesting. Like, you don't hear this kind of discourse and debate for anything else, like any other contract. Like, I, I see the NFL mm -hmm. conversations. I see the NBA conversations. There's yeah. not aggressive arguing over TV rights for those people. Everybody just reads it and they say, okay, this is what's happening. Right, right, right. Not with wrestling. Not with wrestling. Wrestling and um, comic book movies. A, a lot of discourse with comic book movies. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. where who's making what, companies making what now. Yeah. You know, like for example, like the Fox Spider-Man stuff or the Fox X-Men stuff, yeah. you know, that was a big deal. Yeah. Uh, I think you can lump wrestling in there because it's, it's well, cool. It's, it's, it's cool that people want to know what's going on. Game know? of Thrones. I, I have that with Game of Thrones, by the way. Such a good show. House of the Dragon. Man. Yeah. I got to catch up. Yeah. The dragons are kissing now. Did you know that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they had a they had a, they had a very uh very sexy uh, dragon scene. Very nice. Yeah, I mean I'm there for sexy dragons. What else do we have? Uh, WWE Raw and NXT Great American Bash are to air on Sci Fi for the next two weeks. Uh, apparently WWE hasn't let anybody know about that. <laughs> uh, very interesting. Nick Khan, Triple H, and the London Mayor yeah are about to meet are going to meet about the potential of hosting WrestleMania in England. In the UK, I think that would be very cool. I think that would be gangbusters bucks for Oh, WWE. dude, I would love it. An afternoon WrestleMania. Oh, forget it. Two o'clock yeah. WrestleMania. I, you know, they could do it. Will yeah. they, will they do two WrestleManias? One here, one there, or two they there? Could, I mean, if you could really maximize huh. one week apart. Yeah. You know, if you think about it, you could sell out Wembley. Mm -hmm. You know, you could have 75,000 people at Wembley. And then you come to the States mm -hmm. and you could have another, you know, 65,000 oh, in the States. You could do a two week WrestleMania. It's possible. I mean, you could come up with something. That would be cool. I do think, though, that like, not, I'm not. That, by the way, that's not news. That's just me. Yeah, fantasy yeah. booking. The I think their European barometer has been the show in Glasgow and that show in France. And yeah. both of those shows were so banging that why not corner that European market? You know, it's easy. It's. I feel like it's easier for all of Europe to fly to London and even from the States. To go to London? To get Seven to London. hours, six yeah. hours. It's super you know? easy. Yeah, I would, I would personally go to England for a couple of weeks, go see WrestleMania, do, make, a, make it like a trip, make a trip yeah. out of it, you know? Um, I, love, I love England. I had a great time. You know where I had the best time? I've never been. In Monaghan Island. Really? I was in Monaghan Island for a week, and mm. it was the best freaking trip i've had i can't picture you drinking guinnesses i love guinness do you? Yeah, yeah yeah i love guinness um i don't remember the last time i saw you drink I, a beer i thought it was that so wasn't a coors light uh i love beer yeah i love craft beer i mm. love double ipas i just can't do the calories yeah yeah i i feel like like there's a there's a piece of lead in my stomach afterwards mm -hmm. i can't do it um i love i love europe it's great but france paris Everybody's peeing in the streets now. I don't know. Terrible. Your, your buddy, That's a fact. Your buddy might call you up and beg to differ later. Uh-oh. Well, you know what? <laughs> Let's ask him if he calls. My buddy uh, Tony calls in. When that guy calls, I'm leaving. I don't All like right. that guy. All right. Uh, Nick on Triple H. Yeah, I, I think that's a great thing. Vince McMahon filed motion to lift court-ordered pause on the Janelle Grant lawsuit. This is going to play out for a very long time. Um, we'll see what happens. Tony Khan ROH media call notes. ROH pay-per-view tonight. Yep. I'm going to watch it. Yeah. It's I'm going to come home. I'm going to order it. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're always fun. They're, you know, it's good wrestling. Are you going to work today? I am, yeah. Oh. I have I have a... I've had a week, and I have another week that's coming up that I'm dreading. Bananas weeks? I'll give you a ride to the drinks. Oh, thank it. you. Yeah. Uh, he confirmed that he is still currently still the exec in... in the executive negotiating window with WBD continues to have positive conversations frequently, uh, frequently about the new deal, but there's no timetable in place. The deal doesn't expire till January, by mm. the way, not October or right. November. Um, the unprotected chair shot on. Oh, let's talk about this. Yes, please. Uh, do we? Yeah, let's go. You go into the rest of the media call. You talk about it. Let so me, let me just catch up here. So well, one thing that 
uh, took the wrestling world by storm was that on Wednesday night during the Blood and Guts match, Jack Perry took what was what seemed to be an unprotected chair shot to the head. Uh, Tony Khan said he didn't want to give away the secrets and art of wrestling when answering and stood behind the health of their wrestlers yeah. following violent matches. It was shaved down. It was shaved down to be closer to like the garbage can lid right. versus an actual chair. Um, so you get the noise. You but get not the noise the and not the pain. You know, it looked impressive. It looked, uh, you know, it was Raven. They did Raven, Tommy Dreamer. They mm -hmm. and you know that's a good story to tell between Darby and Jungle Boy. Oh, absolutely. I think who delivered the chair shot? Mark Briscoe, right? Mark Briscoe did. Yeah. If there was anybody to do a perfect. Yeah, chair shot. It would be that guy. But you know, you you built a story here. Yeah. You know, like there's two up and coming guys here. Mm -hmm. uh, Mark Briscoe is this veteran. You know, it was it was done really well. This also played better than the original the original original uh, chair shot with Dreamer and oh no, Cody, Cody and and uh, Sean Spears. Yeah, because Cody got nicked. Yeah, he got nicked on the uh, the back of the head. Yeah. which they were like ooh yeah. ooh yeah, um, very interesting. Listen, I'm. I'm all about safety, but if somebody wants to go bear chair, listen, two consenting adults can do what they want. <laughs> I know. I know. But the problem <laughs> is uh, you got to protect the wrestlers from the wrestlers. Yes. You know? Yes. And, and yeah. if you leave it up to them, they're going to do everything and anything and you have to have something. I think shaving down the chair is a, it's a prop, you know, it's a prop. When they do yeah. a glass spot and they use the sugar glass, nobody, you know, that's, that's a prop. Yeah. So as long as the guys are not mm -hmm. hurt and they're comfortable and they're not getting concussed, Fine. Or split open. I mean, like, God forbid, we almost had a tragic situation with the um, with the David Arquette thing that happened. I mean, listen, I'm I'm not for fluorescent light tubes being used yeah. in wrestling. I think that's ridiculous. Yeah. I think real glass use is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. You know, CM Punk, he had a point there. By the way, you saw that photo of I Jack did. Perry Jack and uh, right there. he deleted it. No, everybody saves everything though. That I've seen that thing a million times. I know, but it's account. so good. It's so good. <clears throat> Uh, concept ROH has come up in the conversations about the WBD media rights deal. So there you go. Yeah, that's great. your answer right there. And it should, it should come up. You have an archive. You have a very important archive to the history yes. of professional wrestling. It is highly valuable as far as viewership wise. I don't know what that means, right. but to have that archive accessible, yeah, for people on Max, like I have no, I would do a. This is, I thought about this. If I have more time to do it, I would love to do a, a weekly uh, Dynamite recap. We start from episode one. Sure. We're 250 weeks, you know, we'll I'm never catch up. We'll just continue doing it. I'm with it, yeah. I that. think that's a nice retro, retrospect to do. You don't really, you can't do that right now. Right. It's difficult mm -hmm. to piece everything together. Yeah. I would love to do that. I, I think it's more conversation to be had. I think it's the WWE Network definitely helped WWE when oh it first God. came out. I sat there and I watched all the Nitros. I watched all the Raws. I saw everything. Oh, same here. It's, and, no, it's Where, what year did you stop? When it moved to Peacock. No, 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 no. I'm saying w with the w when you started watching like from the first Monday Night Raw, mm -hmm. right? To where did you end up stopping? I can tell you exactly where I stopped. Oh, it was definitely like... I want to say like around the stuff that didn't wasn't locked in my memory. So maybe like early 98. That's when you stopped? Yeah. Oh, no. I went to like 2004. Wow. Okay. And then I, I stopped. Because everything after 98 is locked in my head. Oh, so you you didn't you you, you know. wanted to like catch up? Yeah, 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 yeah. Got it. Just like stuff that I didn't remember. And like, oh, shit, I, this happened. That it happened. was. But it was interesting to see like raw 99 98 yeah and how terrible it was oh most yeah of the time. it was just a steve austin show that's why you, you watch for austin you watch for dx you watch for uh the rock undertaker stuff was insane <laughs> the, oh, oh yeah but everything revolved around steve austin well you know they they always talk about how they were so blessed that your main eventers were austin rock undertaker kane and mankind <laughs> and then you had triple h and doing his thing but the rest of the show was what did you have you had um the godwins Oh yeah, you had the insane clown posse stuff. You you had, you, the the you had the oddities. You had Ken Shamrock just screaming. You had Val Venus. You had like a bunch of like Val like, Venus and uh, Chop Pee Pee. Yeah, you had a Choppy, bunch Choppy of like pee -pee. you had a bunch of really over the top sexual innuendo. Yeah, and then Steve Austin yeah. for, for half an hour. <laughs> you had Steve Austin in the beginning. You had Steve Austin at nine, but also people uh, at nine. Forget. You had Steve Austin at ten. There you go. People forget it used and to be puppies. two hours and. You know, you at nine o'clock at nine o'clock, and you filled a lot of those two hours with Steve Austin. <laughs> fantastic so let's go back to the roh yeah, thing yeah, isn't yeah. it fascinating 
So I don't know if you guys remember this, but if quite a few years ago, WWE, when they had the network going and they signed all these guys from Ring of Honor, they would put out email polls asking, yeah. do you want to see more Ring of Honor? They wanted it. They wanted it. Isn't yeah. it nuts how years later, a lot of those guys who were in Ring of Honor are now in AEW slash Ring of Honor and Tony has the tapes and most of those guys are in the tapes. All the, Danison, yeah. Joe, um, Adam Cole. Uh, Adam Cole, uh, Roddy. Yeah, Roddy. Kyle. Uh, the uh, Taven. Like, all, yeah, uh, yeah. most of the roster. Whereas, like, who's the one blaring, glaring omission? Punk. You have, and you have Punk's, you have Punk's ROH stuff. Yeah, no. yeah, and you got McGinnis. Yeah. You know, but it's really, it's, 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 I feel like they need to incorporate that archive more. I think they need to go through it first. Yeah. There, there's some stuff that they probably want to remove. Probably. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? Khan said that there would be more matches added to Death Before Dishonor. Uh, this was on Wednesday, by the way. Uh, Khan also said recently Jay White and Dalton Cancel Castle were injured. Uh, it was a domino effect on the card, and also Sky Blue broke her ankle. Yeah, that's nuts, man. Like it sucks. Like sometimes where like those injuries just like pile up and pile up. Yeah. Uh, Tony fought back at the haters a little bit. Says he gets more criticism criticism for five to six match cards than any other company. If they did the same and he just gets more criticism in general, which I agree with. I think it's true. That guy gets hated on by like everybody and their mother. It's weird. It is weird. I, like, you don't know the guy. What, right, are you, what, exactly. are you, what are you writing about? You're writing about a grown man. You, man, you don't know. It's jealousy. I guess so. It's 100 percent jealousy. Why, 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 why? You know, people go nuts. Uh, Brian Danielson, during a sit down interview with Renee, says his wrestling contract actually ends next week. August 1st. August Thursday. 1st. Yeah. Interesting. I love the uh, the sit down talk to that Jeff Jarrett had with him. Jeff's like, for for fuck's it's sake, in the yeah, notes. for fuck's sake, just why don't you take this serious? Like, come on, man, come on, man, <laughs> come on, man. All right, we've been away for a couple of weeks. Uh, yeah. Do you want to talk about John Cena? Yeah, a little let's bit? do it. Uh, at Money in the Bank, John Cena announced a retirement tour that would end in December twenty twenty. What a tour! Like a year and a few months, uh, December twenty twenty five. Can you please? Andrew Zarian of the Mat Men podcast, can you book five matches that John Cena will have in the next year? Um, okay, five matches he could have next year. I d I want to see him and Logan Paul. Oh yeah. Um, does he get the U.S. Championship back from Logan Paul? Him and LA Knight. Him and LA Knight. You know, I I would want to see that. Uh, I don't want to see him and Roman again. Cody? Him and Cody for sure. Absolutely. Right, you have to do that. Um, who him and Gunther? Cena Gunther? Huh. I don't think he wants to take those chops. <laughs> um, who else? Who else? You going with the Gunther? I am. Uh, yeah, I'm Cena gonna go Punk, with dude. Oh my God! Yeah, we could. Uh, well, they both want to do that. Yeah. They 100% they both want to have that match one last time. 2014 Money in the Bank, that is one of my favorite modern day WWE matches. Punk and Cena. Was it 2014? 2011. Was it 2011? 2011 All right, yeah. never mind. 2011. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Money in the Bank. Yeah, fantastic match. Uh, those guys are great. And then they did that pile driver on Raw, right? Uh, was that on Raw? No, it was during that match. But I think he did two pile drivers, one in the Money in the Bank and then one another time. I remember it was that one that Cena did to him, and ever, nobody could believe it. Yeah. And and Michael Cole was gasping because he saw a pile driver. It was on Raw. There you go. Not Money in the Bank. See, hey, my, memory, sure? my wow. memory worked. That's yeah. crazy. Wow, my yeah. memory's uh, for cock there. Uh, New Japan announced they will host Wrestle Dynasty. The event's taking place in the Tokyo Dome. The, the event's taking place in the in the Tokyo Dome in Tokyo, Japan. This we is just a it. weird string of words. Weird right? string of words. Uh, January fifth, twenty twenty five. So this is this would be night two of Wrestle Kingdom. I guess so. I guess this is how they're doing it. But doing Wrestle Dynasty. Okay. Yeah, it'll feature AEW, New Japan, Stardom, Ring of Honor, CMLL. Cool. Very right, cool. Yeah, that's a great. That's a great show. Yeah. Uh, this is this isn't the this is opposed to doing a second night of Wrestle Kingdom. Uh, Stephanie Vacare is leaving New Japan CMLL and promptly signed with WWE also. We did not cover that because we were on break. That's right. Wow, what an interesting signing, too. Like, shows up on AEW, and then all of a sudden she's like, no, 
I'm good. Well, she had the match. She had a mm-hmm. great showing, and Mercedes looked great, and Mercedes made her look great, and there mm-hmm. you go. Fantastic. Now yeah. you're getting Julia and Stephanie Vacair in WWE. But they got Camille in AEW. They got Camille in AEW. I yeah. think that was a good move, though. I think that was a very good move. Uh, do you want to go into Raw, or you want to... Let's just go through, go through like the big stuff. Uh, I, okay. So I'm looking forward to Damian Priest and Gunther at SummerSlam. Okay. That's going to be awesome. Uh, I'm looking forward to more uh, Wyatt Six. Let's see. Chad Gable and the Creed Brothers. Um, I'm into that. How about you? I like that that's going to be the feud. Yeah. The Wyatt Six versus like the Gables. That's cool. Um, Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan. Great story. Where? Yeah, what was that? Uh, Jonathan. Jonathan. He was like, um, I, he, he, we he were, was on we Chatterbait. Were, we were, yeah, he was on Chatterbait. <laughs> he immediately got on Chatterbait. You know he what happened? Like, oh, you know, like the, 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 the smoke. The smoke starts coming out of the ears. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what he was doing. Yeah. He turned into a cartoon werewolf with a tongue flapping. <laughs> boing. Boing. <laughs> Every horny cartoon noise you could think of. Oh, my God. Jonathan. Jonathan was losing his mind. <laughs> uh, you know, it's different. It's different. i i you know you're pushing the envelope a little bit just a little bit just a little bit and guess what everybody was talking about it and the meme started and people talked about it and it got the point oh yeah um my point i wrote boy (laughs) you should go to the doctor for that simmer down boy (laughs) i uh i enjoyed it i thought that was cool i want to see like what do you think happens with this is Liv secretly working with Friend Valor? Is this going to be like the breakup of the oh, Judgment yeah. Day? Oh yeah, who knows? We'll see. Is Dom uh, messing around on Mommy? Like I love the telenovela aspect. Oh, it's of great. This. It's it's, it's, it's good awesome. stuff. It's good stuff. Uh, Sami Zayn and Jay Uso defeated Judgment Day. Listen, Jay is over. Put the belt on him. Jay Uso is very over. Super. But over. They're, they, they're, this is leading into something at SummerSlam. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited. Uh, yeah. SmackDowns tonight. You have the WWE Tag Team Title Number One Contenders Gauntlet Match: Street Profits versus Apollo Crews and Baron Corbin versus the Bloodline Tama Tonga Tonga Loa uh, versus Pretty Deadly and the OC. It's cool seeing Gals and Anderson on SmackDown Still. and NXT. Yeah, those guys are they, they they got a great deal. You know what I would like to see? I would like to see the Hardys with the TNA Jump Off versus Gals and Anderson. I mean, dude, you you have um, Tama Tonga Tonga Loa and the OC is Bullet Club. You have a Bullet Club it's match. It's insane. Yeah. Uh, I, you know, that match, I could see that in Japan. Oh, yeah. 100%. Yeah. That's insane. Um, do you think they will ever resurrect it? I, I don't. I don't understand how they screw it up every time. Or is it like the push pull thing that WWE? It's that push pull thing. They they don't want to give you something mm-hmm. that's not theirs. So, who's this? Has there ever been any rumor, any chatter that WWE has tried to buy the rights to Bullet Club? Uh, wasn't there a conversation they wanted to do a licensing deal in 2016 or mm-hmm. something like that? Because who would get hurt if they did? Let's say they were like, "Hey, we're gonna give you like, we'll give you ten million dollars for this property." I don't know. I think I think they would screw it up. Because at this point, Bullet Club is just like another faction, like how Chaos was another faction. Or well, they're all there. You know? They're all there. Um, would it hurt the AEW guys? If WWE got the Bullet Club rights? Yeah. Uh, not really. Yeah, because yeah. Jay White's the only Jay guy White, doing yeah. it. Yeah. Jay White's the only yeah. And they don't even, they barely call it that. Yeah. You know? LA Knight versus Santos Escobar. Bailey and Meechin versus Tiffany Stratton and Nia Jax. I like where that story's going with the Tiffany Stratton, Nia Jax, Bailey thing. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah, it's fun. Uh, last week, they Real had quick. a uh, they had an interesting uh, face-to-face where Bailey did, like, she kind of cut that real promo. Yeah. I think you were on vacation. I was, well, yeah. And uh, she was like, yeah, you're just clumsy. Yeah, you yeah, know, you hurt people good. and, you're, yeah. yeah, whatever she said. Oh, it, greetings oh, from quick. Paris. Yes, I'm Janan in our chat room. Ah. Before we uh before we move on, I didn't add the CM Punk stuff into the raw thing. What do you think of the CM Punk uh Drew McIntyre face off? Oh, that segment was awesome. Yeah, that was great. Yeah, I'm yeah. excited to see Punk that. Punk looks big. Yeah. He's, he's back bigger. to being big. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's just working out. He's not doing anything else. Good rehab, you know. I hope this guy doesn't get hurt again. You know, <laughs> I really healthy, I know, I know. <laughs> and, and that's something to talk about. I really yeah. hope he 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 gets like at least eight to nine months. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want a year. I want. A I don't. Year I don't fun. like. I don't like the whole. Oh, he's injury prone nonsense. Like no, I don't like that. Like, 
Dude, it's a very difficult job. Your body wears down. It, freak accidents happen. Who the hell knows? He's he's lucky that he has that gift of gab that is so good that this guy shows yeah. up while he's knocked out and can just talk. Yeah. You know, and people still love it. Yeah, fantastic. Uh, SummerSlam is next weekend. Yeah, man. You want to go into the card? Yeah. Uh, CM Punk versus Drew McIntyre with Seth Rollins as special guest referee. Who takes it? Um, I think they they do a Brett Sean Drew thing. Okay. Okay. Sets the ref gets he's wearing the Daisy Dukes and the tanks and the top. I'd love to see that. Okay. <laughs> he goes to for the chair. Mm-hmm. He him and Punk are going at it. What does he do? He slams one of them. Either mm-hmm. or. Okay. It could be he hits Punk, costs Punk the match, Drew gets the pin, mm-hmm. and now you just set this, you're doing 1997 all over again. I think Rollins turns on Punk. Rollins is a Shawn, Shawn Mikey's guy. You think he's a Shawn Mikey's? Oh, 100% okay. he's a Shawn Mikey's, and, and we know that CM Punk's mm-hmm. a Bret Hart. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 100%. Okay, so Drew's the Undertaker. <laughs> I like that. Oh, can you know he what? get all gothic? Oh, I like that. I like that. Have you noticed that between uh, both programs, we're, we're getting like a lot of dark imagery. It's very interesting. Yeah. I like, I, I'm not complaining, but you have the bloodline. I feel like those are like dark mafia guys. You got the judgment day. They're spooky guys. Yeah. And then you have the a other. Spooky, and then you got the real spooky guys. Right. And then you have the satanics, the, uh, the AOP and Karen cross. Oh yeah. They are satanics. Right. They're the satanics. Yeah. Um, very ghoulish. Very ghoulish. It's very interesting. Um, Intercontinental Championship, Sami Zayn versus Braun Breaker. I think they're going to pull the trigger on Braun Breaker. Uh, Sami doesn't need that belt yeah, at this point. I, I th- well, Braun Breaker's remarkable. Yeah. yeah that guy is, a, is... I want him to just get bigger and bigger. Oh, yeah. I want yeah. him to start acting nutty like his uncle. Mm-hmm. Both of them combined. Starts barking like his barking dad. Barking like his dad. Just wearing just... a mesh shit like his uncle. <laughs> <laughs> Foaming at the mouth like his uncle. <laughs> Uh, I think Sammy needs to get put into the main event scene, at least for that Damian Priest title. Okay. That'd be cool. Uh, United States Championship, Logan Paul versus LA Knight. I think Logan Paul is going to hang on to that belt for a little while longer. I think LA Knight needs it. Uh, You know, January of 2024? No, Mm -hmm. 2023. No. Yes, you're right. 2024, Mm -hmm. right? Yes. Yeah. He, he, it was a year ago when you, you said about the going to MSG and seeing how over he was. That was a year yeah, ago. Yeah, so that was a year ago. Um, but in January, mm-hmm. it started picking up. But you, you've given this a year. You know, if this is the Steve, I'm not saying, I'm not comparing it to that. But if it is a Steve Austin treatment, because remember, Steve Austin was hot, way hot before that title went on him in 98. Oh, yeah. If you're going, if that was the plan with LA Knight to wait and wait and wait, and make this into a big moment. This is the moment. Beating Logan Paul for the United States title is the moment for him. But if he loses this, mm-hmm. I don't think he could come back to face Logan Paul for that U.S. title. The goal was to put that title on L.A. Knight. Mm. I don't think it's L.A. Knight's time as much as I want to see the guy win. I think don't Lo- cry. I think, Lo- <laughs> I think Logan Paul is going to win, and I think you're going to hear... And John Cena shows up and he's like, he does the Hogan point at him. And then that's it. Yeah. And then Cena starts doing this shit for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> he's wearing a, and then he rips a shirt and he has another shirt underneath. It becomes a whole thing. Ooh. <laughs> really wild and yeah. nutty. Who would do that? Um, I think you, you get Cena doing, showing up at SummerSlam during this match specifically. Cool. Yeah. All right. Cool. Cause I do want to see, I think. You want to see you want to see Cena on this show. I think Cena versus Logan Paul for that belt is the better way to take that belt off Logan Paul, and then you get LA Knight versus Cena, and then Cena drops that belt to LA Knight. Okay, right? Cool. Do that kind of like old school sort of flip flop. Cool. I'm all about the titles flip flop. Yeah, like what was it? Uh, what was the Austin thing where he didn't want to drop the title to Kane? So he dropped it to Mick Foley, and then I don't remember. They, I forgot they what it was. That title so many times. Yeah, there was like an interim where it was like Austin was like, "I'm not dropping it to this guy, but I'll drop it to him so he can yeah. lose to this guy." You know, but I think that's the way to do it. Yeah, Cena Logan Paul, Cena wins. 
Okay. LA Knight Cena, you know, you still yeah. need to do that retirement tour. Um, and that way also, he's not going to get another world title. He's not going to break that flair well, record. Well, I, maybe he would. You think so? I, I mean, you know, listen, the guy was their franchise. Yeah. You know, you want to talk about a babyface run to that extent. Nobody mm-hmm. outside of Hogan in that company has ever done that. A pure babyface run. Yeah. Never shifted character. Never mm-hmm. did. I mean, that that's an impossible task. Very impossible, especially in and like this modern era. In this modern era, and he was booed, but that was part of the charm. But at the end of the day, you still appreciated John Cena. Do you get a John Cena Cody where Cena is the Hogan and pretty much does the My Tum Tum? And raises <laughs> and raises Cody's hand at the end. Um, I, I never. I got to tell you, like I appreciate John Cena. I never. Mm-hmm. It was never my dude. Ever my dude. I was too old for Cena. Uh-huh. I understand how, like older, like if you if you were in the Hogan era mm-hmm. and you were older, I could understand why you you hated Hogan. Okay, you know what I mean. Like I understand it, but. Mm-hmm. I mean, Hogan was still Americana. Right, the same was right. John Cena. John Cena was a Marine. Yeah, he, he was the Marine. He was the Marine. Arguably, he was the Marine. You know, how interesting is it that wrestling made that guy the Marine? And my father believes that he was oh, a Marine. Yeah, yeah, and every t- he came out doing a salute and yeah. everything he with still the cargo does it. shorts. Yeah. You know, the camo, the camo shorts. I hate, the, I hate his shorts. <laughs> Can he Ray just Martin's be... a real Marine. I think he needs to drop the, the, the jorts mm-hmm. and go to a Bobby Lashley tight. Yeah. He needs the Bobby Lashley tights. Yeah. Yeah. Pants. Put some pants on that, some man. Pants on. Pants, no shirt. But, like, I want it up here. Like, oh, I yeah. want it above the belly button. Like Fred Mertz style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, Fred Mertz style. <laughs> uh, we got WWE Women's Championship. Um, Bailey versus Nia Jax. All right, Bailey retains. Do you think you get that cash in from Tiffany Stratton? Good question. I don't know. Okay. Maybe. Uh, Liv Morgan versus Rhea Ripley. This I'm is the match. Very much looking forward to it. I think Liv retains with a wacky Dominic I circumstances. Think, I think Liv should retain. Mm-hmm. Uh, Real look great. Liv looks great. They have. I'm really into this story. Yeah. And this this entire match could have been a nothing match, but look at the story that was told. Mm-hmm. Liv attacks Rhea backstage. Rhea gets hurt. Okay. They decide to put the title on Liv. Liv is now mm-hmm. going for her man's. Mm-hmm. Rhea's back. Now you have a captivating story yes. for this match, and I love it. I love Rhea's fantastic. Uh-huh. She really is unbelievable, and what a transformation! She was great when she was, you know, the 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 young blonde in NXT baby face. Yeah, even prior to NXT, like when yeah. she did that that the tournament, mm-hmm. she came in there just like a sweet baby face, captivating, captivating, and they slowly mm-hmm. transitioned her into this monster character when people are there for you backstage and she embraced it yeah right absolutely. it's part of her identity i don't know i don't know if she was um you know like she always liked that look mm-hmm. you know yeah you or know or the the, the gimmick or the gimmick kind of created this i i would i would love to interview her for that i think I've, i think I've it's got to be a little bit i've seen interviews i've seen interviews where she said that she always liked that style but because so she excited. was in wrestling she wanted to be uh she wanted to go a she, goth she mommy thought she had to be blonde <laughs> she thought she had to be blonde and like i think she else was blonde then. i so think she, that like yeah, she, she was, was like yeah she was and she transitioned it out because she realized she looked too much like charlotte flair for instance I think that's Interesting. part of it was yeah. her. Yeah. Well, her she deal. was she also was that goth mommy before Judgment Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, mm-hmm. in NXT. What was that, yeah. Jonathan? Can we just take a moment and just say how fantastic a watch along would be me and MG and this match? Just that's it. I think I think that would have to be on Chatterbait. Yeah, I think you okay. guys need to take that. <laughs> you guys would you guys take would take that to the X. Like the, the no, no. yeah, yeah, you gotta take that, you gotta take that to X videos. Dirty boys. Yeah. Dirty boys all up in I that have a X question hamster. before you guys move on. I'm a quick oh, watch. look at how strong she if, is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you should, Jonathan, you should book a flight to Michigan. Yeah, and, and just g- do it in his lair. Set up, yeah, just like sit on his lap and watch that match. <laughs> you guys could have Hot Pockets. <laughs> just like the, the, the worst food. <laughs> Did he's eating Hot Pockets, dude. Uh, he's uh, melting right now. He's dying. He loves I, Hot Pockets. I, that's I, why. I haven't had a Hot Pocket since I, I was have, like 13. Yo, they taste like plastic. <laughs> yeah. I made the mistake of having one. Yuck. Gnarly. First off, they never cool off enough. 
They never cool off. And let me tell you, nothing tastes the same anymore. Okay? No. I'm going to tell you, okay. nothing tastes the same. Explain. Everything, because they replaced all the oils with all that. The, 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 what are you talking about? Okay. Like in general? In food. In food. Everything is like a soy oil. It's a palm oil. oil. Okay. Food. It's yeah. all super processed. Nothing tastes like it did you know 20, why? 30 years ago. I agree with you, but I don't. You know why? Why? Because we're older now and we take better care of ourselves. So if you bite into some nasty shit, it's going to be nasty. Listen, I love Reese's peanut butter cups. Yeah. Okay. They taste like shit now. Mm. Garbage. Ugh. You got to get. Them. I hate the snacks. Got to get them artisanal Reese's. I get those actually. You know, honestly, but they taste too fancy. The only the uh, you know what I like. I, I like, want to be reminded I was a middle class kid. I like uh, I know, but it's it's tough. I like uh, I like Tony's Tacalones. Those are amazing. Oh, those are good. <sighs> those are so good. You know what holds up? Potato chips. Yeah, potato chips always hold up. Yeah, but I feel like candies from when we were kids totally like, different. Now. I had an Oreo last yeah. year, and I was like, this is nasty. Yeah. I don't know. Ding dongs are still delicious. Yo, th yeah. those I gotta tell you though, those um, you are what you eat, Jonathan. Uh, yeah, I love ding dongs, and he is one. Uh, I love the little, all the little Debbie shit. I love all the little Debbies. Oh yeah, the rapper, that's little Debbie, the F rapper from California. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> FCN Toby says a lot of food, a lot of U.S. food is banned in Germany because of some ingredients. Yeah, but you know what's funny? So in the UK, they banned that that red red whatever, mm -hmm. right? And that's like a big thing. That's like. Right. Jess always talks like Jess is a crunchy mom. Like okay. we have like everything she gets is like five ingredients. Okay, yeah, yeah like yeah. she really we don't get like we get like really good, good stuff. quality yeah, yeah. snacks for the kids. Yeah, knock on wood, I could afford it. But a lot of that, like, well, like in the UK, in Europe, it's banned. This mm -hmm. color dye is banned. Yeah, but they have an identical one. Mm -hmm. This one is banned, but they have a similar one also. Right. I'm not saying it's in right. every food, but it is in mm -hmm. food. My big problem is bread. You go yeah. to Europe and you buy bread. You go to Germany, you buy bread. It's like four fucking ingredients. Yeah. Salt. Bread. Bread. That's it. <laughs> they put over bread in here, bread. Over here, <laughs> they put bread in the bread. That's yeah. it. Over here, it's like 5,000 things on the ingredients. Uh, depending I was talking on the to bread Tomic. Yeah, I was yeah. talking to Tomic about uh, this. He's guy. a bread man. He makes bread. I don't want to talk about that guy. Your, uh, your god wife's <laughs> husband. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, and he's like, he's like, yeah, like. We use like just like five things. Maggie, if you're listening. Maggie, if you listen. <laughs> You'll see her tomorrow. I think. Oh, hell I yeah. think maybe she's coming. I don't know if she's oh, coming. Man. No, she may be she may be in Poland. Oh. I can't yeah. wait. Yeah. I'm gonna be there. Are you coming? Yeah. Are you coming? Oh good. I you know, I, I didn't know if you were gonna make it. Are you coming or are you going to Poland? Oh, dear God. He's no, going to Poland. I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming to for the MG FaceTime. <laughs> now let me let me ask you something, Jonathan. Yeah. Sorry yeah. guys. We're <laughs> there's a party tomorrow. What are you bringing? What's your Italian treat that you're bringing? Because I'm on the fence about mine. He's gonna dress up like Enzo. <laughs> oh, I would love that. Oh, well, God. I'm just, I'm just now remembering I have to bring an Italian treat. So, because I told you, yeah, it yeah, was on the so. invite. Are you bringing your, your lady? No, no, she has uh, work. She started a new gig. So, okay, oh nice, yeah. All right. I'll be coming in. Great. All right. Shall we continue? Yeah. Uh, I got a right. question before you. All right, we got to hurry up finish. though, yeah, man, because man. I, I do have to go That's to work fine. at some point. <laughs> it's a what? <laughs> if Liv and Aria uh, main event at SummerSlam, would you guys be upset? No, I would not. No, not at all. I understand. Listen, mm -hmm. I, you know, I, I think, I think if it went in this order, you know, where you have, I mean, this, this card is stacked. There's no like nonsense match here. No, this is, I'm very much looking forward to You know, to you this. got you, everything for, for a reason. The, uh, to be honest, the only thing that, and it's on a Saturday too, right? Yep. Oh, that's the best, isn't it? Um, on a Saturday, the only non title match so far on this, unless they add more, Uh, is CM Punk and Drew McIntyre, and that's a blood feud, and it's yeah. fantastic. This is a really, like, you look at this on paper, mm -hmm. and you're saying, you know what? This is a tremendous SummerSlam card, right? Mm -hmm. You have IC title, US title, women's title, women's title, mm -hmm. world title, undisputed title. Yeah. Everything matters. There's a culmination here. It's very interesting. Josh yeah. culmination. Josh culmination. What's up, Josh? Uh, so I talked to a very 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 extremely close friend of mine the other day who was never the biggest wwe guy yeah always a hater and for the most part this. and the other day he was like yo this shit is good and it is um so Liv morgan Rhea ripley who's taking it i think Liv should win shenanigans shenanigans i think she retains yeah uh wwe world championship match damon priest versus gunter 
Oh, this is a tough one, man. I want to see Priest with that title longer. Yeah. Well, I I mean, I don't think the build has told the story of Gunther winning. I right. think it's adding more to. I mean, Finn Balor is the the variable here, right? Yeah. So something probably happens there. I don't know. I'm curious. I uh, again, two big dudes, guys that I really like. Mm-hmm. Uh, Damien's excellent. I love his story. Yep. Uh, MG, when is Clash of Champions? Uh, I can look it up for you. Yeah, please. In the, in the interim. Now, hear me out. I could see Gunther winning. And if Clash of Champions is any time close, you get a Gunther Cody. Gunther Cody. Title, I want that. Title versus title. Not title yeah. versus title, but like, you know, title yeah, you against title. You could do something. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. they had, because there was seeds planted for Gunther Cody a long time ago. Yeah. Um, and your undisputed WWE championship match, Cody Rhodes versus Solo Sokoa. I think this is going to be a banger. Imagine Uh, if there's an upset. Imagine, you know, I, here's the question here, right? Does Roman play a part? You think, you think the man shows back up at SummerSlam? Is this a moment? I think you need him back. I think Mm -hmm. the bloodline thing, um, you know, it, it's it's plateauing, and rightfully so. You can't, you know, episode three and every TV show is the big one, right? Yeah. And then five and six, it kind of slows down. Sure. We're in the slowdown period. We're in the build period. So you you got this is this has to lead to like a gang warfare war games match. That is that <sighs> that that makes all the sense at Survivor Series. You have Roman side and this side. And maybe Dwayne plays a part and you do something. You you could tell a great story here. Does Roman return as a monster baby face? Oh, he has to be. Team with Cody. I don't want to see him and to- uh, Cody. Tony Rhodes. <laughs> I don't want to see Tony Rose. Rhodes. You don't want to see Roman and Cody team up and win the tag team championships? No. <laughs> I don't want I don't want them near each other. Okay. Um, now, not ha- until not until it's done. Well, I think you need you need that Paul Heyman return with the Roman return. Yeah, right. Yeah. Now, how would you book Roman returning at SummerSlam? Um, comes out of a cake, <laughs> <laughs> like Marilyn Monroe. Yeah, like Marilyn Monroe. Mm. How yeah. would you how would you book how would you book the Roman returning? I think he's gonna like his musical hit. He'll run. He'll do a save. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe he saves Cody. I think he saves Cody. I think you think he's going to join the bloodline and he spears Solo. And he maybe he spears Solo. And he maybe mm-hmm. he doesn't save Cody. He just spears Solo. Interesting uh, Very stuff. cool. Very cool. I like the War Games idea. Yeah. All right. Um, how much time do we have left? Uh, we can go into Dynamite quickly and then do a Q&A. Okay. Time, time-wise, like... Okay. Uh, there was so much... So much... I got like 30 minutes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was so much that I did not like about this opening segment on dynamite okay okay listen i understand holes everywhere okay it's wrestling you have Uh, to watch it the way you got to watch it right however why is alec marvez waiting to interview will Mm osprey at the hotel when the show is on when they're supposed to be there at one o'clock yeah so he's running late someone slashed his tires Okay. He grabs Mar- uh, Marquez's car, right? And mm-hmm. then he's like, I've never driven in the States. How, did, how the hell did you get your rental? And why is your rental in the middle of nowhere? It's just right. like parked yeah. in the middle of the street. It was, it was weird. I, I don't know. You know, you could have done a better story. You could have said, oh, early this afternoon, his tire was slashed yeah. and he's been trying to get help. Whatever. You could have done something. I, I, whatever. I'm not going to nitpick it, but I was like, ah, eh, it's weird. MJF opened up the show. Saying he beat Osprey, it was easy. He did it in record time, uh, and he essentially trashed the international title and he created the American <laughs> Championship. And he said, "This doesn't <laughs> represent Nashville. This represents Plainview, Long Island." I do like the look of the belt, and I like how he really he he. This was a home run for me. Yeah, I told the guys at press they got to mm. p- print a photo of him mm-hmm. because there's a press in Plainview now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and it should say "Our Scumbag." Yes. Okay. They should do it. You want you want a little marketing tip mm-hmm. for Plainview, Long Island? Put a picture of of MJF on there. Some mm-hmm. some guy'll take a photo and post it. I've never been to the other presses. I've been to Rockville. How is it? It's good. Yeah. 
doesn't have the same charm for me. Yeah. I like the degeneracy of this one. Yes. I agree with you. The other ones are way more classy. Okay. Um, that was a home run segment. I enjoyed the, the, the look of the American Championship. I thought it was interesting. Yeah. It's not going to be... Uh, How about the flag? Yeah, fine. Yeah. Great. It's not going to be the... We're I'm sad that we're not going to get the Intercontinental Championship. <laughs> Intercontinental. Yeah, yeah. It's not happening. So you can get... What's the other one? The um, What's the one Okada has? Continental? Yes. So okay, you can but, have the Americontinental Championship. The Americontinental. They, they did... They did, He did take the International out of the trash. And he has both. <laughs> so, you know, Wembley, you could do a, a ladder match for both titles. Sure. Great. The unification. Unification. Intercontinental American title. Everything is American. Mm -hmm. uh, USA. <laughs> I love that. Heel. He comes out as a heel. He trashes the international title, brings out American, everybody in Nashville chanting USA. Wild, right? Great. Great. Chris Jericho, Minoru Suzuki. <coughs> Chop ah, fest. Dude, you know, these two old grizzled vets beating yeah. the shit out of each other for 10 minutes of chopping. Uh, Jericho Chess was bleeding. Suzuki was great. Uh, after the match, the learning tree attacked Suzuki. Shibata made the save. Great. Great. I want to see them do it again. Absolutely. Uh, in uh, There's an interview with Renee. Will Nightingale is attacked by Chris Statlander. Stokely Hathaway lays out um, an Eliminator match next week for the CML uh, women's title. All right, cool. Cool. Eliminator match. Uh, there's Jeff Jarrett talking to Danielson, giving him like a kind of pep talk saying like, hey, man, you got to want it. Can you make it worth it? I'm going to tell you. Uh, this is how the match ends. Mm -hmm. It's a reverse Montreal. I've been speaking about this for weeks. This <laughs> yes, man yes, obviously yes. doesn't want the title. Yes. And everybody wants Danielson to win that belt. I want the reverse okay? Montreal. We mentioned everybody this last time. wants him to win that title. There's no question about it. Mm -hmm. So what you're gonna do? It's you're gonna be like 20 minutes into the match. It's gonna be a random like sleeper. He's gonna have Swerve in like in a headlock. Yeah. The bell's gonna ring. The lights are gonna go. Everybody in the building has been <laughs> alerted about this. They're all running out. The rep throws the belt, he catches it, Swerve leaves, and they shut the lights off. That's it. That's how the show ends. <laughs> I would love that. And it forced that, that man so to wrestle for another six months. I would love that so much. <laughs> Listen. And he can't get rid of that belt. He can't get rid of it. He tries to lose. He, he can't lose. Mm -hmm. It's like, a you know, like, he'll lay on the ground and something will happen. Like, it'll be Darby Allen. They'll, they'll schedule him with Darby. He's like, great, I'll give the title to Darby. Mm -hmm. He lays down. Darby goes, for, goes to pin him. Whoop. <laughs> he's like something happens or they just turn the lights off every time he shows up for a match mm -hmm. you just keep the title on him you get the entrance you get the yes and then that's it i do think the answer needs that belt at some i point. i i would think it's such a disservice yeah because that guy listen man he's one of the greatest of all time absolutely he left wwe he had a very cushy position there he could have been there for life he wanted to believe and he would still have and he wanted to bleed <laughs> yeah just why don't you want him in your lineage of world champions? Do you think he got a text from Triple H at some point and the text just said, hey, buddy, you could bleed now? You could bleed now. Yeah. And like, uh, that's, that's how he's going to come you know, back. I, <laughs> the, guy, the guy's achieved everything you could ever imagine on, on every level. This is mm -hmm. one title that he, he should have. Deservedly. It's good. It's good for the brand. Yes. You know, let's say even though the belt is a prop. Yes, that's what it is. I think it would be such a great accolade. Maybe that's his final match. He goes out on top. Yeah, great. And then mm -hmm. he he wrestles, you know, at the next pay per view. Yeah. Maybe he does a little bit more, and then he's done. Yeah. Whatever, it's fine. You now, can lose it at all out. Now, do you see him leaving wrestling for a while or showing up every? So I think long? he's going to be. I think he's going to be wrestling. Okay. I don't think he's leaving, but I th I don't think he's going to be on TV every mm -hmm. week. Okay. I think he'll do a couple matches a year. Well, because then you're going to get, like, you know, let's, when, when is his retirement supposed to be over? Uh, I think at all in. Like, so, technically, so that's the, the end. Yeah, Wembley's, okay. like, the end. So, but again, he's a worker. He's so, a worker, he could be yeah. working everybody. So, then next year, when they do, like, a War Games or Blood and Guts, he's going to be the secret entry. Yeah, he, yeah. he could be the secret guy. I, cool. I they do need, do, they do need through? a good rumble. They need yeah. to do a rumble. Like a, like a somebody outside of WWE needs to p figure out how to put together a really good rumble. The Rumble Royale. <laughs> a Rumble Royale. All right, what else? 30 men over the second rope. Second rope. Second only. rope. Bottom. You yeah. just slide in and out. Yeah. <laughs> um, we, uh, the pep talk, Britt Baker defeated Hikaru Shida. Not a good match. This little, was a rough match. It was rough, but I think it's set up 
for what they needed to set up, especially debuting Camille. Um, she is Monet's heavy now. Yeah. All right, let's see where this goes. Great. I'm I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Uh, Pack defeated Boulder. That's fun. Uh, Mariah May defeated Caitlin Alexis. Uh, this was good. I like the Mariah May stuff. Good stuff, yeah. Really good stuff. And then you had your main event, the Blood and Guts match, Team AEW. No, Pack and Boulder. I, 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 oh, you did? Okay, yeah. sorry. Uh, Blood and Guts match, Team AEW. Swerve Strickland, Mark Briscoe, Darby Allen, Max Castor, and Anthony Bones defeated the Elite, Matt Jackson, Nicholas Jackson, Okada, Jack Perry, and Hangman Page. How much fun do you think Okada had in this match? I think he had a blast. <laughs> right? He's never done anything like I know. <laughs> he probably was on cloud nine and like, you guys do this all the time? This is, like, this yeah. is what you guys do? You guys, this is fun. <laughs> you, don't have to, you don't have to do a five-star match every time you have a big match? Did you, it was that on your wrestling bingo card? Look at everybody in this match and then Okada's in there somehow. I did not, this was not my favorite one. <laughs> I liked it a lot. Um, I... If, if, out of all of them, this was probably my least favorite, but it was still good. You know, Eddie Kingston was supposed to be in this. Uh, yeah. That obviously played a part. Listen, it was what it was, and I think the guys did a tremendous job, and I think it was still really good. I had a lot of fun watching it. Mm-hmm. It wasn't the best one. And that's fine. I know a lot of folks didn't like the ending. So, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. Uh, Jack Perry's the baby face now, right? Uh, how is he not? Right. You know, you have this little weirdo saying, I'm going to set you on fire. And pour gasoline on him. <laughs> like, hey, yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, they set this man on fire. They chained him and they mm-hmm. hit him in the head. Uh, they martyred him. Yeah, I thought they were going to do it. I thought they were going to really set him on set fire. Set him on fire? Yeah. That would have been something. That would have been nuts. They what a way that, to go. Didn't they do that last year? He got set on fire last year. He did, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, I feel like the crowd was a little bit in Jack Perry's corner during this I match. think so, too. Yeah. I think so, too. It's getting, he's turning into a baby face at this point. You want to be threatened by fire. Yeah. I do think the elite should go full baby again. It's hard. The, yeah. Those bucks are very unlikable mm-hmm. in every way. Hangman, I feel like, would, is a good, like, he could be a good bad guy, good, good guy. Hangman mm-hmm. didn't give a shit, right? Yeah. Hangman just wanted Swerve. Mm-hmm. They made it very clear that he just wants Swerve. Those and, guys are going to be linked for, for the rest of their careers. I hope so, because yeah. they're both so good. Yeah. So good. ROH death before this honor is tonight. You want to run through this card and then we'll go into whatever else? Okay. Uh, Texas Deathmatch, Diamante versus Layla Hirsch. Cool. Okay. Uh, women's Television ta- Championship, Billy Starks versus Red Velvet. Great. ROH Championship, Mark Briscoe versus Roddy Strong. ROH Women's Championship, Athena versus Queen Aminata. This is so far a strong card. I think there's a few more matches on yeah. there that were added, but uh, I'm pumped, man. I'll right, watch it fine. later tonight. Yeah, it's a nice Friday, Friday night. night wrestling. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And there's SmackDown's going to be good. Yeah, you know? it's 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 wrestling's good, folks. Wrestling's across very good. the board. Wrestling is pretty fantastic. You don't have to like one more than the other. You could like everything the same, or you could dislike. You could just like one. Exactly. Whatever and, you want, and keep your opinions to yourself. Uh, <laughs> so, also the G one is happening. Yeah. Are you are you watching any? Because I'm I'm catching up. I'm behind. I'm, I'm a little bit behind. Yeah. But I do think they're gonna throw it. To Zack Sabre Jr. Well, Zack Sabre Jr. right now is 3-0. and Six points. Evil, six points. Uh, Takagi, four points. Gabe Kid four. Newman, two. Sonata, two. Umino, two. Damn, Naito, that. two. Jake Lee, two. And Great Okan is 0-3. That's the A block. That's the A block. Uh, B block. Yuri Yamura, six points. Takeshita, four points. Hanari, four points. Renarita, four points. Jeff Cobb, two. El Fantasma, two. Yoda Suji, two. Goto, two. Oleg Bolton, great. Two points. David Finley, two points. I wouldn't mind a final between Takeshita and Zack Sabre Jr. Takeshita and Zack Sabre Jr. would be a fantastic match. With Zack Sabre Jr. taking it and then facing Naito Naito at Wrestle Kingdom. Yeah. I think it's time for the new guy, Gene. Okay, that's great. Let's do it. And Zack Sabre Jr. He's been there forever. Deserves it. He's gotten, he's improved his look. He's still captivating in the ring. Um, I think that guy deserves it, man. Fantastic. Yeah. You guys want to do some Q&A? Let's do it. All right. Guys, uh, if you want to super chat us, we'll answer your question ahead of everybody else's. Uh, it could be any amount or not. Whatever. No. Um, you ready? Yeah, let's do it. Let's see here. Do we get any super chats? Yeah, we here? got a couple. We got? Okay, there we go. Uh, Glassdoor Gamer, French Tony Khan meeting with Zaz in Paris. Do it. Uh, maybe next week he'll call in. It's going to be funny. Maybe he'll call in. With a recap. Yeah. Uh, let's see. What else do we have here? It's like a buddy cop film. If 
Mark B, if Wembley was a two-year deal, would WWE try and snap it up ASAP after All In? Wembley was a two-year deal. Would they try to? Uh, they would. I mean, that, that's why they would probably want to run right at Wembley. That's a great building. Now, would Wembley be exclusive? No. Or just like if yeah. WWE's like, hey, we want to run this event. Here's like eighty million dollars. Yeah, it. yeah. The the London pays them and they they come in. And that's fine. Yeah. Henry Bears is TK being more patient with the debuts of new signings like Camille and. Well, Hologram was Hologram. supposed to debut when they first started that company. Really? Yeah, that was okay. Tony's like idea, and I had heard like a million different ideas about how it's going to be presented. It's going to be this really over the top thing. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, now it's a very different. It's a very different uh, situation now. Yeah, but uh, I'm curious to see. I thought his match was good. I liked that match. He looked great. Yeah, it's a it's an interesting concept. But pretty cool. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, let's see what else. Camille, Camille, it was it was for creative reasons. They they needed to they needed to get through some things to bring mm-hmm. her in, and I think she's gonna be a great addition. Paul it's from Paul Anthony Moss. We have Swerve Danielson for all in, but Blood and Guts hyped up Swerve and Hangman. Triple threaded all in or setting up an all out grand slam? It could be an all out grand slam. Uh I well, there's a spoiler that it, will affect that answer. Where? Uh, from the taping, the Rampage taping. Who won the, the Battle Royal? Yes, the uh, Rampage okay. taping. Cool. Yeah. So I would say this This is a, more like a swerve to make you think Danielson is not winning. Okay. They want you to think that, right? And then they want you to maybe think like, well, maybe he's lying. Maybe mm. he does want to win. So like, there's a little bit of that happening. Reverse Montreal and Wembley. Well, I'm telling you, dude, you gotta fucking do it. Just shut the lights off. Shut the lights off. Just Danielson screaming, I don't want this. His a helicopter picks up mm-hmm. Tony Khan. Everybody leaves. <laughs> Tony's like hanging from the helicopter like a villain. Like the ladder? He's yeah, like the ladder. ladder. Yeah, it just takes off. Um, Brian Knight, which will happen first? WrestleMania, KSA, or All in Japan? All oh, in Japan would be interesting. All in Japan. I would say it would they would not put WrestleMania in Saudi Arabia. Yeah. I, I would say that. That, that that would I don't know. You know what? To be I, honest, I think a WrestleMania in Saudi Arabia would makes way more sense than than AEW going to the Tokyo Dome. I think if if you know who was still in charge of WWE, we would probably get we would definitely see that. No, that, I think it's the opposite. Really? Yeah, I think that's the opposite. You think Hunter's trying to yeah, to go for it because this company's huh. all it, it it's all money first. Very interesting. So okay, and they're paid enough. Of course, they'll go there. Jay Anon, the opening ceremony of the Olympics is in about an hour from now. Are you guys watching? Why aren't you guys in Paris? Um, I wasn't booked. Yeah. Also, I'm not allowed in Paris. Yeah, you got you got banned. I peed in the streets. That's got, your pee. Got, it's my <laughs> pee. Big dude. reveal. It it's was ba- your it's pee. It's my pee. It was my pee. <laughs> truth comes out. The truth came out. Um, I've never been to Paris. I'd like to go to Paris. France is no longer France. That's what I'm being yeah. told. Uh, what's... Ooh, this is good. By the way, that's a joke. Yeah, I have no problem with the French. Joke, yeah. Except for the fact that they kicked my family out because my grandfather wasn't Catholic, but my grandmother was. Okay. So they had to go. They had to go to Turkey, then Greece, mm-hmm. because. But they allowed my grandmother to stay because she's Roman Catholic. Mm. Yeah, that's fascinating. Nineteen sixty something. Uh, Cadillac Carson with a personal question: What's a vacation spot that you have not been to before, but you would love to one day? I've never been to Hawaii. I want to go to Japan. <laughs> I want to go to Japan. Japan, absolutely. Yeah. Hawaii and yeah. uh, North Korea. I want to go to North Korea. <laughs> you think yeah. you can make it? I want to go to you, Uzbekistan. You think you can pick up where Rodman left off, and you know you can you can bring them out of the Stone Age? Well, you think you know Kim Jong Un? He would like me. Look at me. I'm so cute. Hmm. I think he would. You don't think he'd be like? He's like, I like this boy. Oh no, wrong guy. <laughs> it's the wrong one. <laughs> I mean, watch that boy dance. I mean, very similar. No, no, no wrong guy. Sorry. I mean, very similar. <laughs> wrong guy. <laughs> People ask me all the time. <laughs> Michael a beautiful B. Jordan country. all over again. <laughs> Have I seen this boy dance? It's, it's seen him Paul dance. Sorry, sorry. I, wrong, wrong guy. Um, I <laughs> I would love to go to Japan. I I want to go to Italy. So, Absolutely. 
Taylor's learning Italian, and uh -huh. I told her by the time she's ten, if she learns enough of the language, we will go to Italy. Or even there, but so I want to be your translator. Wanna, <laughs> yeah, yeah, she'll be my translator. Uh, I definitely want to go to Italy, but like, I want I don't want to go to like Milan. I don't want like I want to go like somewhere Amalfi Coast. I want to go, yeah, but not the Amalfi Coast because mm. it's too much tourism. I'll go mm. to like Sicily. Okay, I want to go somewhere else. Uh -huh. Um, there's a lot of places I want to go. Oh yeah. All over the world, baby. I love the Caribbean, though. Because I am a Caribbean queen. Mm -hmm. uh, Paul Anthony Moss, a few weeks back, packed in an emotional promo saying he wanted his Wembley moment. With Osprey MGF running it back at All In, who or what match do you see Pac getting now? I don't know. Pac Okada. You know what? Why not? Pac Okada, Pac takes that belt. I think that would be Pac a cool Okada, match. Pac Okada, I love it. Right? That's great. Great match. That's great a great match. moment. Yep. What, what better a guy to put Pac over in the biggest match of his career yeah. at Wembley in front of the UK crowd than Okada. Yeah. Uh, is there any update? Oh, from... Ricochet. How about Ricochet? That's another one. Pack Ricochet. Ooh, that's a good one, too. Yeah. Um, is there any update on Julia Hart? I have no update, no. But I haven't asked. I could ask. Large 23, when are you guys watching Deadpool? I think I'm going to go on Monday. So I would have gone today if I wasn't going into work because Bob has tickets. No. Yeah. You should uh, go with Bob. What time is the... What you got to sit on his lap, though. I might. I don't care. I might uh I might go Monday because Vicky's off. So he's going at one. We're gonna do like a uh we might do like the IMAX. Yeah. The Llama Wrestler, the Llama the Llama Whisperer, sorry. Great name. Uh we've been we haven't done this for three weeks. I got marbles in my mouth. Which current wrestler do you think would tell the spookiest oh. bedtime stories? Oh, definitely Gunther. Oh my god. I don't want to hear those stories. Yeah, definitely Gunther. Uh, he would tell some spooky ones. Let's see. Nikki Cross. Nikki Cross telling mm -hmm. bedtime stories. Um, Who's like a real twisted Vince McMahon? Oh no, I don't Do want to hear want those. spooky stories from Vince. I don't want to hear those. Yeah. Um, I got one. Yeah, give me Brock Lesnar. Oh, the Undertaker. <laughs> nah, all his stories. End I just want. I, you know who I want to tell me spooky mm. bedtime stories? Bruno San Martino, but telling me stories about escaping Italy. <laughs> I was a little child, and I had to leave. And then I turned into mist. Why doesn't he have a heavy Italian accent? Why does he sound like he's a vampire? He's very soft spoken. That's why. Very soft spoken. I told I, you the story about how I turned off WrestleMania when it was at the Garden because Kane and Undertaker scared me when I was a child. Right. That yeah. would be. That would have been the WrestleMania I was at. That was right. That was two thousand and four. Right? WrestleMania, WrestleMania 20. twenty. Yeah. Yeah. So I was ten. Two thousand. You were ten. Oh my god. I was, no, yeah. you could oh not god. have been ten. Yeah, you could not have been ten. I was born no, he was 94. ten. What? Yeah, he was, was ten. Born in ninety four. So two thousand four. Yeah. Oh my god. Does that make you feel old? old? Oh yeah, because I keep forgetting how much yeah. older I am than him. Because he looks, he looks like years. he's forty. You could, he does. You could have been, <laughs> you could be his dad. I could, I could have been his dad. Yeah. Jonathan, how old are you? He's fourteen. He's thirty. Yeah. He's a he, he's fourteen. <laughs> the fourteen year old boy. Look at that boy. Look at that boy go. <laughs> uh, when, under, when Undertaker returned as the Dead Man, I got so terrified that I turned off the pay per view. That's, was, you know what? It was too close to my house in Jersey. Ask Ask Intern Deacon about the X Files what comic book that was under his bed. Oh my I think God. everybody oh, no, should. We had the uh, we had the black box. There's no waste okay. of money. Yeah, I think everybody should tweet Intern Deacon and ask him about the X Files comic book that he found under his bed. Did he freak out? I would torment him. Oh no! <laughs> I would torment him. He's he's been on the next level with the stuff he's been sending the group chat. Oh, he's out of his I'm mind. I'm very much enjoying oh, it. Oh, are you? Okay, I'm good. very much enjoying All it. Right. I think I think his impression is so hysterical. It's so gross. It is. It's very gross. But the way he nails it, I'm not going to tell you guys about this at all, what we're talking about. But uh, the way he com makes it Hank Hill. Yes, genius. he makes it very Hank genius. Hill. Genius. Uh, okay. Ali Gamal, any information about AEW potentially running a stadium show in Texas next year? Will it be all in Texas since WWE is taking over Wembley, or is it going to be a different show if the rumor is true? Um, they definitely want to run a stadium show. I, you know, I spoke about this when I forgot when when I brought it up. But people are like, "Are they running a U.S. stadium show?" And I was told yes, but I always thought, "Yeah, they run a U.S. stadium show every year." Every yeah. single year they run one. Mm -hmm. Arthur Ashe, it's a stadium. Uh, you know, there are rumblings that they want to run Texas. They definitely are going to run all in in a big building. Now, I don't know if it's a 40,000 person building or a 25,000 person building. Mm -hmm. There's a ton of stadiums that could fit 25, 30,000 people. Um, I don't know what's available in Texas. I, I do not think they should run Arlington. 
They should not run Cowboys Stadium. That mm-hmm. building is way too big. Yeah. But they could run something with 30, 40,000 people. Sure. It would be a fantastic show. And Texas is pretty easy to get to. Very easy. Yeah. It's uh, big. We It's huge. We went to uh, Austin for my boy Tony's bachelor party, and it was like a nice four-hour flight. Yeah. You know, great trip. Uh, let's see. This is from Kermac. Thank you for the super chat. Will Dom turn on Rhea? I personally want Judgment Day to side with Liv and kick out Priest the way they turn on Edge. Then Liv would truly take everything from Rhea, like she said. Love it. Great. Great story. I think that's great. Uh, will Dom turn on Rhea? Oh, I think Damien I Priest. Yes. Yeah, I don't know, man. I feel like Balor's going to. I think Balor's going to take the reign somehow. I think so, too. Because I wouldn't mind seeing Balor with that belt again. Yeah. Um, let's see here. We got Glassdoor Gamer. Okada Hangman was teased at Blood and Guts. Yes. But I think they, te- like, AEW does a really good job of teasing multiple things. Yeah. To, to for, let you, to put it in the back of your head. For a variety of, of things. Yeah, to put it in the back of your head. Absolutely. Uh, Okada Hangman at Wembley. I'd be cool with that. Okay. Me put too. that Put that belt on. But at yeah, the same time, like, eh, you know, Hangman's like that mercenary. Who now. should come out to Caribbean Queen? As their new theme, Okada. <laughs> Okada. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. You hear the coin drop, and then all of a sudden, Caribbean Queen. Now we're sharing the same dream. Are we going to get pulled for No, no, no. We, I could do it. I could do the you voice. You just do the voice. Yeah, right? I could do the voice. I'm allowed. <laughs> Chicken Owl says, AEW shows have been so great lately. Last three weeks, they put on really good stuff. I, you know, it, it's fun. Let it be fun. Brian Knight. Hashtag ask Matt Men. Ask Matt Men. Any new updates on Ricky Starks, Megan Bain, Lashley, and Wardlow? Lashley's a free agent. Yeah. I, and you could and Shelton's available. I told you my dream I had, right? What? Lashley, you were you were in the group? No, where Lashley wins the IWGP championship. Oh man, I love that. Uh, <laughs> I love that. I would I would love for that. That, to man, that man is a specimen. He is not from this planet. Oh, yeah. I've never seen anything like that. He's so impressive. And he's like 200 years old. Yeah. Yeah. He's an immortal, dude. He's an Anunnaki. The rock planet. He's from the planet of rocks. He's from the rock planet. Yep. This is from Cadillac. Do you... Sorry we kept you waiting, by the way. Yeah. Uh, Do you think we get Dom versus Rhea in a match? Ah, I think those days are over. Ah, yeah. Maybe on Netflix. When we go to Netflix, maybe Hmm. they could do it. I don't know. I don't want to say... I I, I don't like those matches because they're very unrealistic. But in this case, I think Rhea could whip his ass. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Uh, he's He's got the supers mullet on the planet. Dude, he, he, he is that, that is an Eddie mullet. That's a mullet and a half right and there. And that mustache. That mustache. Yeah, he's doing that. He's, he just needs to get jacked now. That's true. And yeah. he starts, he needs to do this. Oh, forget it. Big Jack Dom. Big Jack Dom. Like, he, but. But he only does what Eddie Eddie's workouts like. Eddie was all traps. Oh yeah, like he had crazy, traps and biceps. Yeah, he had such a classic body. Yes, yeah. like that was an old school workout. Whatever he did, Way big, big on top, big yeah. arms, big traps, smaller chest. No, I had a big chest. Did he? Yeah, that guy had Let's some see. some big pectorals. Eddie Guerrero body, some big pectorals. <laughs> Eddie Guerrero body. Uh, let's do another question real quick. Uh, update on Adam Cole. I think he's still working off that injury, right? Uh, Adam Cole? Yeah. Yeah, he's still, he's still, I mean, he, it should be soon if he's returning. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Did you, how did your search results turn out? I forgot what I was looking for. Eddie Guerrero body. Eddie Guerrero body. you just body, clack yeah. on the keyboard yeah. with nonsense? <laughs> That's how MG writes his notes. Yeah, I totally <laughs> fugue forgot. Fugue state. Uh, yeah, no, he True did state. have a big chest. Yeah. Big chest. But like, look at this, dude. Look at this. That That's the body. Fantastic. Yeah. That's old man strong. Oh, yeah. And he wasn't that old. No. Uh, Ali Gamal, do you think Adam Copeland might make an appearance at All In? I think he'll be there. Yeah, for sure. He's got it. Uh, this is from Chicken Owl. If Nicolas Cage was a wrestler, what, was, what would be his career trajectory? Huh. Now, is he a wrestler in tandem with being a movie star? Or was he just always a wrestler? Oh. Nicolas Cage. <sighs> oh man, Nicolas Cage as a wrestler. Mm-hmm. What would he do? Coming, what would his gimmick be? Coming for you, Kenny Omega. <laughs> <laughs> uh, does he wear a cape? Mind, I think Omega. he wears a cape. He wears a cape for no sure. No shirt, no shirt. Like, you Dan know what? Danhausen. Dan he does a Danhausen outfit without the face paint. I like that. Yeah. yeah. I like that. 
like that. I'm the Bullet Club Killer, Kenny Omega. <laughs> um, definitely wrestles in Japan a bunch. Uh, Let's see. Uh, Brian Knight. Hey, David Arquette was backstage at uh, at AEW. Oh, yeah? I want him back. Put that belt on him. I'm going to man- remember, we were working very hard at manifesting our your, relationship your with David yeah. Arquette. What happened with that? Um, you know. You didn't manifest enough. I, I manifested, but, but the pandemic swerved it, uh-huh. and now I'm friends with RJ. That's true. So I got RJ instead of David Arquette. So I got David Arquette's good friend, <laughs> RJ City. I don't know what happened. Um, just, you know, the virus affected everything. But we were close. He was going to be here. He would have been coming over to all the party. He would have been at the party. You could still, you could still make it happen. You know what? What would you do? David Arquette shows up. I just give him a hug. You give him a hug. You're like, dude, you, you were great. Yeah. You're fantastic. That's Love it. you and everything. I would try not to. And you, and you know what? I put the WCW title on him. He'd probably leave. He'd probably get out <laughs> He'd of leave there. with the belt. No, I think he'd like it. I think he'd like it. He'd be into it. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and then Monica shows up and Rachel and Joey, Tribbiani, then I'd leave. Chandler. Well, Chandler can't anymore. Then but I'd... Ross, nobody wants Ross. Then I'd leave. No, everyone, I hate Ross. Fuck Everybody Ross. hates Ross. Neurotic fuck. <laughs> hate him. <laughs> wow. Sorry. <laughs> this is going to be the party tomorrow. He was getting yeah. cuckolded by Rachel for, for 14 seasons. I went to your barber wreck yesterday. Marty, yeah, Marty. Marty did a great job. Marty, Marty's great. But they're playing, they were playing Friends on every TV, and I wanted to uh, yeah. be my bees out. <laughs> <laughs> if, you know, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> uh, what would be your dream five person War Games B and G team? You can choose any wrestler from any era. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, five on five. Okay. Five on five. RVD, Sabu, Sandman, Raven, Tommy Dreamer Ooh. versus Austin, Mick Foley, Undertaker, Triple H, and Dwayne. Oh, I love it. There you go. I love it. I love I it. I had that waiting for 30 years. I love it. You have I no love women. It. What? No, this is a boys match. This is a boys match. <laughs> this is a boys match. Um, <laughs> I would. That's perfect. That's picture perfect. Yeah. I love that. Oh, you want a girls one? I got one. Ready? Go Luna Vachon. Yes. Scary Sherry. Yes. Rhea Ripley. Yes. Um, uh, Bull Nakano. Bull Nakano and 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 Medusa. Medusa. There you Perfect. Go. Versus um, Molly Holly. China. Ooh. Molly Holly. Uh huh. Trish. Okay. Trish Stratus. Mickey James. Uh-huh. And um, Charlotte. One of the uh, one of the girls in uh, hot lesbian action. <laughs> Whoever that would have been. Sure, sure, sure. That H, bringing back that HLA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. HLA's back, baby. HLA back. That was it was funny because uh, it was HLA and then Three Minute Warning were on like the same shows. Yeah, very, very fast. Very weird time. Um, I would go nerdy and do. I would do Shield Bullet Club. Okay, Shield Bullet Club. Great, yeah. love it. Would there be any surprises for the ROH pay per view? I don't know much about the ROH pay per view. I have been MIA for the last three weeks. Yeah, so it's fine. It's unfortunate. I'm, but I'm gonna watch it. Oh, we got a couple more super chats yeah, here. Last door gamer. Will Danielson help behind the scenes in AEW after his contract is up? Tony said he will be part of AEW yeah. after retirement. Yeah, 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 yeah. coach. Yeah. Right. Uh, he's he's great. He he is a great level headed mind mm-hmm. for that talent over there. Ooh. Slim Reaper 35, which character do you enjoy more, a generational heel or a generational babyface? I love heels. I love heels. Mm-hmm. I always have. I think there's more depth to a heel. Um, I don't love babyfaces because I think it's a much harder task. If you are a pure babyface, to be over the way you are is so hard. Danielson, is he a mm-hmm. pure babyface? No. He's not because no. he has some edge. Uh, Cody, he's a real babyface. I think it's really hard to be a, a baby face like that. I will say for my taste, I would say a I enjoy a general generational baby face more because one, you're inspiring a generation of fans and yeah. those fans will stick around forever. Okay, you know what? That's great. Right. And I feel like, like Hulk Hogan, a yeah. generational baby face. Uh, John Cena. Yeah. John Cena, generational baby face. Uh Cody, Cody's up there, like you said. Cody's you up know? there now. Cody's up there. And I think like the wrestling business needs that. Yeah. Otherwise, it's just you know. Because my my I my problem with a lot of the baby faces is that the, the they're 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 heels playing a baby face like Seth Rollins. Yeah. Playing a baby, he's playing a baby face. Same thing with Randy Orton. Same thing with Randy Orton. Mm. He's playing a baby. That's face. That's a generational heel. That guy's Ray Orton. Yeah. yeah. The, the the one of the best. Um, MJF. That is a heel. Mm-hmm. I don't like him as a baby face. Yeah. I hated 
hated, hated the Adam Cole stuff. I really yeah. hated it. And I have to tell you, I really believe part of that decline was that. I agree with I, you I on don't that. think... Yeah. I think a lot of people are very vocal that they liked it. Mm -hmm. I think there's way more people like me that did not care for it because it was so out of character and it went nowhere. I think it was a lot of fan service. A lot of fan service. That, which I, feel I like didn't like. It was pandering. If you want to if you want to analyze that as a wrestling podcaster, which we are, I would say that the argument is there that that was the jump off of being the elite. Okay. That catered to that fan. Yeah. Right? Where like they were doing bits, being the elite was no more. That was like the transitional period for them. Yeah, you know. Did I care for it? Not so much. Do I care? No, I'm not gonna. You know who could be a generational babyface? Hangman Page. Oh yeah, I I like him. Oh, I yeah. I like him, and even when he's a heel, I like him. Mm. I like him as a babyface. Yes. Uh, I just I just feel like it's you know. In Japan, Okada, generational babyface. Great. Tanahashi, generational babyface. Yep. Um, that was a great question. That was a great Slim question. Reaper. You know, Slim, I got one for you, real quick. Go ahead. Generational should be a heel all the time is Mercedes. The Mercedes should yeah. be a heel all the time. Yeah. yeah. Same thing with Charlotte. Like, Charlotte should be a heel all the time. <laughs> Bailey, baby face all the time. Actually, she had a tremendous heel run. Oh yeah. 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 She did great. Actually, I, I liked it a lot. Will she go back to the hugging? Mm. You know what? Maybe <laughs> once. Okay. Maybe once, just one hug. Just one. Like hug. she sets it. it up. Yeah, yeah. And then she's like oh. grossed out by it. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Germs. Uh, do we have to go? It doesn't look like there's uh, any more questions. No more questions? Guys, if you can. All right, then we're done. All I right. Gotta, I got to train in 20 minutes. All right. All right, boys and girls. Love each and every one of you. We will be back on. Well, I'll be back on Sunday with Wrestling Observer Live. Mm -hmm. Tuesday, Beyond the Bell on Fightful. We're back. I'm also on Wrestling Observer on Tuesday yes. with Garrett. Yeah. And we'll be back next Friday with another Matt Men. Hell yeah. Boys and girls, enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your time. Enjoy the Olympics. Enjoy Ring of Honor tonight and SmackDown. And we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye for now. Later.